What is up YouTube? It's your homeboy Josh back with another banger. For today I'm gonna be showing you the five ways to get the cheapest and the best insurance that fits you. Now to begin with, first don't assume that any of these companies or other companies is the cheapest because I think it's common sense that a lot of them actually pays very um very generous when it comes to advertisements so that a lot of people would be convinced that they're the cheapest now the second one is don't ignore local and regional insurers so basically there's also um some monopoly going because these um for example these four insurance companies actually has um let's say sister companies that they own it's just in a different name so you know you you need to look for those insurance providers you might want to look into those local insurance providers because usually they can be cheaper compared with the big um, insurance companies like Allstate, Geico, Progressive, and State Farm. Now the third step you need to ask for discounts that you heard it right you need to ask for discounts so for example um, bundle car insurance with other policies such as homeowners insurance insurance I mean insure multiple cars with one policy have a clean driving record you know things like that so that you know discounts are always available as far as I'm concerned as as far as I know all of these companies have discounts here and there so please do take a little bit of your time and explore the discounts and ask them about discounts now the fourth step work on your credit why is this important because your insurance credit score is a significant factor in the car insurance quotes you receive except for a few states now for example in california hawaii and massachusetts they don't allow insurers insurers to use credit when determining car insurance rates so insurance companies say customers credit has been shown to correlate with their chances of filing claims all right so to the last but not the least step skip comprehensive and collision coverage for an older car i guess this also makes sense for example you have two cars let's say the other one is um, purchased and it's a model within 2024 then the other one is somewhere let's say um in early 2000s or even in the 1990s so you don't want to get comprehensive and collision coverage for the older car just get collision and comprehensive coverage for the newer car of course since the older car will most probably soon retire its service so don't put too much importance on the older car so those are the five ways that i know that you could um find the cheapest and the best insurance for you so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching please do not forget to subscribe this is your homeboy josh i'm gonna see you in the next episode peace out